Hey, everybody, it is Ed. Okay, I'm gonna go back in time again. The time is now 1984. 1984, let's see. MTV is still in its first few years, and it's pretty popular, and, uh, you know, goal of, of any band at that time was to get a hit on MTV, to get exposure, and, uh... Also in 1984, they were gearing up for what would have been Elvis' 50th birthday coming on January 8th in 1985. So they did a bunch of releases, which I did a video on some time ago. And in those releases, I did, I think, briefly talk about and show um, this, which is the Elvis Rocker LP. And this was kind of a big deal at the time because at the time rock, uh, rockabilly was was kind of making a bit of a comeback in the form of the stray cats and uh it was quite popular so what they did was they released this and they called it elvis rocker and they made a video for mtv for blue suede shoes which was the release from this album now, of course, this is all songs from 1956 and 1957. And uh, this is, I think, the first time that they touted that they um, digitally remastered from the original monophonic master tapes. So, yeah, that was, that was a supposed big deal at the time. But here it says, the rock classic that's a hot single and now a hit video. Blue suede shoes. It's here. It's here. It certainly is. Well, yes, it had been here since 1956 anyway, so. But great album cover. I gotta say that. This happens to be a sealed copy. All right, but let's look at what's on here. All right, we have Jailhouse Rock, Blue Suede Shoes, Tutti Frutti, Laudy Miss Claudy, I Got a Woman, Money Honey. Then we have Ready Teddy, Rip It Up, Shake, Rattle, and Roll, Long Tall Sally, You're So Square, Baby, I Don't Care, and Hound Dog. Uh, these are all, all mono mixes, and they sound good. They, you know, do they sound better than what was originally released uh, when, when these songs were originally produced and, and put out? I don't think so. It's In my humble opinion, I don't. Uh, the one that did stand out for me, actually, was, was Shake, Rattle, and Roll. I thought that sounded really clean, and um, it, 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 sounded, it sounded very good, actually. Uh, a lot of the other ones, to me, sounded a little uh, muddled, and, and I don't know. I, uh, but overall, as far as the sound quality goes, these are not go-tos for me to play on the turntable. All right. Interesting to have, though. All right, but let me show you. Uh, I'll show you the label because it does have the the uh, 50th anniversary. This is my open copy. All right, and it just came in a plain white sleeve. Nothing special. I put the label at the time was cool uh, and unique to the era. So it was the Elvis 50th anniversary on the golden label for a golden anniversary. Here you have side A. It has the RCA logo. Here you have side B. All right, very nice. But again, all in mono, all tracks released 1956 except where noted, and I believe the uh, where noted is Jailhouse Rock and You're So Square, Baby, I Don't Care, which were released in 57 with the movie in conjunction with. Uh, it doesn't say produced by on on here in the credits and actually uh the year i couldn't even find on the on the record jacket either it just says uh you know contains previously released material and um rca and um yeah but on the uh, record label it had 1984 on the bottom but it just says project oh Pro project a and r director greg geller all right so i guess that would be the producer but there you go so, yep. All right. There you have it. So, you know, is it worth having? Well, 
again, it's not my go-to. It's not something I go to listen to or, uh, you know, throw on the turntable quite often. So I, I can't say that I would. But um, I will also show you the CD that was released, I believe, in 84, 85. And this is the original blue ring label. And the booklet just has, uh, I think it's just one page, you know, flipping open. And it just shows the credits and the other available CDs of the era. There you go. All right, but um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, especially if you have this release. Uh, there was a sequel, Return of the Rocker. I will uh, come back and talk about that one. All right? So, appreciate you watching. Leave a comment. And be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Take care.